Yep. Okay, this week is all about bats. We are supporting the Bat Conservation Trust in our Give Back Friday sale. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the bat wing. To hold the bat wing, which let's face it, is essentially an evil elbow demon of a human flag, we're holding an isometric contraction of our QL, psoas major and obliques, especially those on the top side of the body, to resist gravity, which wants to pull us into this lateral flexion. The erector spinae muscles are assisting with that and also working to create space for the pole by bringing the spine into extension. Our arms are extended a little bit behind us and it's primarily our anterior deltoid, pec major and biceps which are working to keep that contact point with the pole. When it comes to the legs, it's mostly the hip abductors which are working together with the hip flexors to hold the legs in the straddle. And with the body parallel to the floor like this, we probably aren't working both legs evenly. The hip abductors on the top leg are working to keep that leg lifted, usually with some assistance from the hand, but the hip adductors on the bottom leg are probably more active to help hold that leg up against gravity. The closer our feet are to our center of mass, the shorter the lever, which is one of the reasons why most people will find this variation easier than the more advanced pencil version with both legs straight. You can find out more about the Batwing and our Give Back Friday sale at thepolept.com.